I thought opening a door for a I lady. I thought opening the door. I thought of, I thought opening a door for a lady was a polite thing to do. Okay. Isn't it? Isn't it polite to hold the door for somebody? Yeah. I don't know why she screamed it when she, when she flew out the plane. Once again, I would uh, like you to stop reading joke books <laughs> before you get here. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to our stupid directions of Corbin. I'm silly. And you can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Thank you to everybody who supports us on Patreon. Follow us on our official Twitter account. Subscribe to the like button. And it helps the algorithm. Because it helps the algorithm. Today, we got a video uh, from Tired and Fuse Productions. Uh, we, we've seen many stuff from their channel. Really enjoy their channel. This is a video, 12 Indian movie projects that got shut down and canceled. Other than... Well, that wasn't shut down. It was released, wasn't it? The, will, Harry, the Harry Potter thing. Yeah. Will these movies ever release is uh, the full title uh, production of this. Uh, and I don't... Batgirl. That's not an Indian one. Oh. Here we go. <laughs> oh, yeah. Bobo oh, 3 was bad. announced. That's. I think it's called Hair Perry or something like that. It's one of the iconic comedies okay. back in the day. Only the OGs on this channel will remember when I had spoken about unreleased projects from Hindi cinema. The cases of massive projects being formulated to go on the floors, in some cases having shot several of its sequences and then due to unforeseen circumstances, they never see the light of day. These are movies and shows that have been cancelled either due to budget constraints, creative differences between actors and sometimes directors, cautious decisions taken due to digital laws or political changes, and in some cases just a complete destruction of every facet that can allow the production to be completed. If you ask any Malayalam film fan, the relationship that they share with the constant delays with the next Niven Poly release is more or less the same. One is hopeful but is constantly heartbroken with further delays, something that they experience with gold as well. I want to get a few movies already out of the way that I've spoken about a few years ago on the channel. These include the fantasy film with Amitabh Bachchan that yeah. was titled Talisman and was based on Chandra Kanta, the project Time Machine starring Amir Khan and which was supposed to be directed by Shekhar Kapoor and would have given 2050 a love story and its concept of time travel a run for their money. Shuddhi, a long-standing project for Karan Johar that never seems to materialize. Chani Chalk to Africa, a sequel that never went on floors due to the poor reception and commercial performance of the first film. Kuchi Kuchi Hota Hai, yes you heard that right. An animated film greenlit by Dharma about dogs playing out the same beats of the live action film. The battle of Saragadi with Randeep Huda. And the sad copyright legal battles that Amitabh Bachchan and Shujit Sarkar's film Shoe Bite had been embroiled in ever since it's planned its release. As I've got these out of the way through this video, I wanted to talk about films across languages that may never see the light of day in its complete form. So here is Trident and Refuse Productions with 12 Indian movie projects that got cancelled or are indefinitely postponed. Aadhaar Vineet Kumar Singh is considered to be one of the most hardworking and talented actors who really does invest his heart and soul to projects. The unreleased Geo project Aadhaar is one of them which was showcased in the Busan Film Festival in 2019 and was originally supposed to release in India on 5th February 2021. A tale of the first person in the village who has got his Aadhaar card made and is told by a soothsayer that the serial number on his ah. identity card will lead to his wife's death. The bureaucratic and irreversible rigmarole that follows form the premise of this film that will presumably never see the light of day. Whether it's postponed, shelved or will one day digitally release, I guess we will never know. Gourmet. Ten months ago, Amazon Prime Video had announced a slate of titles that will form its lineup in India for 2022 and 2023. This included the likes of shows that have already yeah. released like Farzi, Crash Course and Sural the Vortex and soon to be released Jubilee and The Hard. But a series that has been presumably shelved is called Gourmet, starring Amol Palikar, Manav Kaul and Rajshree Deshpande. The havoc and controversy that Tandav caused has definitely led to streaming platforms being more mindful of provocative content or storylines that allude to being critical of the status quo. Hence, what was at least from the first look a compelling political drama will never be seen in the public eye. Karikalan 
Onion Silvan has become that one of the sucks. most critically and commercially acclaimed films from Tamil Nadu. But it is known that Vikram was supposed April to portray the role of Aditya like Karikalan way before soon. this materialized in 2022. The film was to go on floors in 2017 and directed by L L Kanan. But halfway through, he was replaced by A R Gandhi Krishna, who is said to have originally written the script. But even with the changes, the film was never completed. It was fate, I believe, that Mani Ratnam wanted to finally complete his dream project with Onion Silvan, and who better than Vikram to play the character of Karikalan, Maya Sabha. A director that developed a huge fan base for this first venture is Rahi Anil Barbe, who surprised everyone with Tumbad. The screenplay by Mitesh Shah, Adesh Prasad, Anand Gandhi, and him made everyone spellbound of the exceptional world-building and folktale-inspired fantasy horror concoction it eventually became. But his next venture title, Maya Sabha, has been in limbo of sorts, having completed the film with Javed Jafri and child actor Mohammad Samad. All the attention seems to be on his Amazon Prime Video series Gulkanda Tales that should release a few months from now but the feature film seems to have been lost in the abyss. Abu the Thief of Baghdad. One of the most talked about events that was almost going on floors was an India Hollywood collaboration in 1998 with Chiranjeevi which would simultaneously be released in both English and Telugu. The movie titled Abu the Thief of Baghdad was supposed to be mounted on a massive scale but presumably legal trouble due to religious sentiments being hurt with the grapevine spreading of certain sequences and the monumental production cost halted the opportunity of Chiranjeevi I rolling things I can never hear. Takht With the period epic Padmavat doing exceptionally well, audiences were thoroughly intrigued by the fact that Karan Johar was formulating to create Takht, a feud between brothers for the Mughal throne, with the likes of Ranveer Singh, Vicky Kaushal, Anil Kapoor, Kareena Kapoor, and Alia Bhatt finalized Whoa! for the cast. One assumed that this is going to be a family drama showcased on an epic scale. I presume, however, just anticipating the sheer outrage that would take place with the commercial film on the Mughals made Karan Johar take a step back, and not wanting to undergo the massive pressure and noise that follows for any film, even marginally shedding light on that part of history. Dostana 2. Speaking shame. of Dharma Productions and shared projects, everyone knows about the drama that unfolded with the production company and Karthik Aryan. The company calling him out for unprofessionalism and vowing not to work with him ever again, and a movie that had shot majority of its script now did not have a lead actor anymore. The project has more or less been suspended and has not undergone reshoots ever since the drama unfolded. What exactly went down with respect to creative differences and the actor walking out is left for speculation. Kitta one STR also had multiple releases that have got shelved not the case of never coming into fruition from a shooting standpoint but having actually shot several portions and being left incomplete His movie Kitavan a movie where Yuvan was contributing his music and he starred opposite Lekha Washington got eventually shelved while I don't know specifically about the premise the look test that STR was going through really looked zany and Damn. interesting Lekha Washington had also put out a cryptic post about her not so pleasant experience working in the same film making me wonder what exactly transpired with this movie and its making Peppa One of the movies that absolutely breaks my heart has been postponed indefinitely is the RSVP produced film Pippa starring Ishan Khattar, Munal Thakur and Priyanshu. The movie based on the 1971 war specifically about Brigadier Balram oh, wow. Singh Mehta of the 45th Cavalry Tank Squadron who fought on the Eastern Front was something that had all the ingredients for a great epic film. The movie is directed by LF director Raja Menon produced by the makers of Uri and had also music contributed by A R Rahman. The film dropped its thrilling teaser and was slated to release on 5th December 2022 but has been further delayed presumably due to more changes being made on the editing table making me slightly anxious whether such an interesting war film will just get shelved in the process. I hope not. Nartan Sala Nandamuri Balakrishna's dream project that went under production in 2004 and was partially shot but ultimately shelved due to extremely grim and unfortunate circumstances. The actor Sondarya passed away in a plane crash and the film could never stand on its own two feet ever again. The film based on the chapter of Mahabharata would be directed by Balaya himself and was a remake of his father's own film that released in 1963. The first 17 minutes of the film were digitally released on the streaming platform for history buffs and for those who are interested to see what could have been The Immortals of Ashwatthama. Everyone fully anticipated what would be Aditya Dhar's next move after the exceptional response that Uri received when it was announced that the director is mounting an ambitious project in the form of The Immortals of Ashwatthama in a contemporary manner and presumably in a post-apocalyptic world. I couldn't be more ecstatic. But the film has been undergoing several production and budget issues, something that broke the heart of lead actor Vicky Kaushal as well. The news of the movie still going on floors keeps coming and going, but nothing has been concrete or substantial to really believe that this may get completed anytime soon. Kamal Hassan is the real OG of this category. 
If there is one actor who tops the list and to such an extent that there is an entire Wikipedia page dedicated to his unrealized projects, wow. it's Kamal Hassan. But of the several movies that never saw the light of day, some of which include Kamal's Robot with Shankar and Preeti Zinta and the opportunity to portray Tipu Sultan, the one that fascinates me the most is Maruda Nayagam, a historical movie which would follow the life of Muhammad Yusuf Khan, a warrior from the 18th century and the movie had been promoted and mounted on such a big scale that the Queen had visited in 1997 for the inauguration of the film. Presumably because a British company financially backing the movie had distinct itself from the project, the film could not be revived despite Kamal Hassan having invested presumably close to 8 crores of his own money. Oh this is an goodness. absolutely fascinating story when you look into account the British influence, conflict and all in the context of the control in Madurai and it would have really accounted for a spectacle on the big screen. Shame that this, like many ambitious projects, just did not materialize. And that was the video guys. Write down in the comments below if you have some fascinating stories or movies that uh, just could not uh, see the light of day. Please don't forget to follow me on Instagram. The handle's right in front of you. Follow me. Yes, obviously follow him, please. Uh, it wouldn't surprise me if the the, the last film... The Kamal? Would, yeah, that the British financiers didn't like the content depicting the British in a poor light. Because we've heard that. Yeah. We've heard about films that they don't... Wasn't it... Um, Dumb. Yeah, they didn't like it. So, well, yeah, Germans don't like to have stories told about Nazi Germany, but they don't tell you to stop making them. Yeah, it's really stupid. Yeah, uh, and to also care that they don't like it. It's like seriously, okay, you did this to us. Why would I care? And to start production and then pull it out, and he's invested that much. I'm, I, I, I would, I would be so interested to like if it was ever finished, and it's just there. Like, you know how big of a hype you'd get from, like, oh, this unreleased massive Kamal film from the oh 90s gets un uh, out of the vault like Disney does for, for films. That You know how big of a thing that would be? Like, you get to see, like, I, I don't want to say, like, um, uh, in his prime Kamal Hassan, but, I mean... Kamal Hassan was doing some great work in the in the late nineties. Um to to have like it was like, all right, we're just gonna release this and see how it does. Yeah, there's film buffs. Like he said, the other one that where unfortunately the lead actress I could believe passed away, they had sixteen or seventeen minutes of it originally filmed, and so they just high H high definitioned it and released that for cinephiles to watch. Do it. Yeah, I just and then all the ones that are like for religious sentiments or like any, I just, <coughs> oh, it pisses me off. I'm like, okay, if you have a religious sentiment that you don't like, don't watch it. There it is. <laughs> it's, what stop. Ricky, it's what Ricky Gervais said. Just because you're offended doesn't mean you're right. Yeah. Just stop imposing <laughs> your views on somebody's art. You can be like, I don't like that art. You can be like, I don't want to support that art totally your prerogative you can do whatever the hell you want with your money it's a free country right but stop imposing your views on somebody's art stop it <laughs> i just it makes me so infuriated ah oh, that's what we call censorship ladies and gentlemen yeah and it is frowned upon yeah and not just religious sentiments but there are people who don't want certain things portrayed because it, it, it political, political political whatever uh hierarchical whatever that may be they have a particular bone to pick with i don't want to be in i don't want to be depicted that way or if the british is like hey i don't like how you depict us in this film be like go fuck yourself this is how you treated us <laughs> like i i just don't understand and that's why they didn't send sardar udam for um the oscars the, the the Oscar committee please that's why they didn't do it because they thought it would hurt the British's feelings yeah yeah uh, <laughs> yeah uh, that's why we don't make slavery films here because it will hurt people's feel oh wait we do yeah um anyways great video as always some people can't handle truth yeah Great video as always. Uh, let us know what other videos it is or other videos that we can react to and any other stories that you can re recollect down below. Just